Hey, it's Bruce from Awesome Arcades. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the different types of cocktail tables that I have. So I set these up in my garage. Sometimes when people go on my website and they see so many different options, it can be kind of overwhelming. And this way you don't have to read every single product description. Uh, I'm gonna kind of give you uh, the cliff notes for each machine. And then just know that for each of these machines, there is a product page. So on the main landing page of my website, there's a picture of each cabinet. If you click that, you'll go into that product details page. You'll see all the different um, uh, thumbnails or smaller pictures of the exterior options. So you can see what those all look like. In addition, there's going to be a marketing video. That's probably the best place to start once you've kind of narrowed down which cabinet you're going to be interested in looking at. And so if you scroll down in the product description, that marketing video will tell you everything you would ever need to know about you know, my cabinets, other companies' cabinets, kind of the industry generally, how the gameplay works, that kind of stuff. So we're gonna start with this one. This is the classic cocktail. This one is the same dimensions as the original Miss Pac-Man cocktail table. And so this one has a 19 inch LED monitor. The only difference between modern monitors and the 80s monitors is that back in the 80s, they were CRT tubes or cathode ray tubes. Of course, now they've got LCD and uh, the most current thing is LED. So these are all LED screens. All the monitors in my cabinets are LED, they're 1080 high def, and they are wide viewing angle. Wide viewing angle just means, so TVs were actually never designed to be laid flat and then kind of viewed from an angle. And if you've ever been looking at a laptop, if you're looking at the screen, and if you move too far off to the left or right, you'll notice that the screen uh, can become difficult to see. And that's called a laptop effect. You can Google that if you want to learn more. But uh, if you get a wide viewing angle screen, that eliminates that. So no matter how extreme the angle is that you're viewing the screen, you'll still be able to see it. So this guy here is actually shown with an option. That trackball is an option that you can add during checkout. It's not included in the base model. And of course there is a trackball on both sides. The trackball is a spinning ball and it was used for games like Centipede and Millipede. Also, whenever you get the trackball, there's an audio upgrade. So there's an additional speaker and a stereo amplifier that come with the trackball checkout. So the next guy here, this is the exact same as that cabinet. It just has a bigger monitor. So this one has a 22 inch monitor and it's got the same options as that one. So this is uh, the option without trackballs. It's being shown. So you can just kind of see, um, it's kind of an optical illusion. I think that one looks bigger right now, but they're actually exactly the same size. The only difference is the control panel on that one has been stretched out to accommodate the insertion of the trackball. And then the next tier up is called the deluxe. The deluxe is a bigger version of these two cabinets, but it basically can do the same thing. So what these three cabinets are designed to do are play early 80s games. Early 80s games are games like Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Frogger, basically games where only one person can play at a time. So if I'm playing Pac-Man and I play over here and I die, the screen will flip for the opposing player and then you alternate and take turns, but you're not playing at the same time, you know, like baseball where I pitch, you hit. So, there's two different game board packages that are available for these cabinets. One has 60 games. The other one has 412 games. And if you're shopping around, every company is using the same game boards. We just, we get them on Amazon. They're either $40 for the 60 board or $110 for the 412 board. There's a lot more information about those boards. There's videos that show you the interface, the pros and cons uh, of each. So you could check that out in the product description. Um, but this one, the deluxe classic cocktail is... 40% larger by volume. It has a 26 inch LED screen. And then I've also got one of these that's called a jumbo. It has a 32 inch LED screen. Okay. And again, 19 inch LED, 22 inch LED, 26 or 32. Now the next guy here, this is called the ultimate cocktail. So what the ultimate cocktail can do is it has joysticks on the North and South side, just like these guys. So if you're sitting here, you could play games like Donkey Kong, Frogger, Pac-Man, Galaga. In addition, with this panel here, if you want, and here's another one, you can actually flip the screen. So if you want, you can just reorient the screen over to this side. By the way, this is just a preview. So as you're scrolling through the game list, and there's way more information about this game board and how awesome it is in the product description, I encourage you to check that out. Um, I've got that weird overhead light there. But uh, once you enter the game, it does fill up the full screen, but this allows you to play horizontal or landscape games. And most games uh, that uh, were released after 1985 are going to be landscape games. So you're talking about Super Mario Brothers, um, 
Defender, Asteroids, Track and Field, you know, Street Fighter, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Simpsons, Mortal Kombat. Almost every game is a horizontal game. So these guys are really cool if you're only into the early 80s games and you're cool with one person playing at a time. Um, but if you have young kids and you know they're want to get, want to, uh, going to be able to play against each other or with each other at the same time, uh, these guys are going to be better. So again, this is like baseball. I pitch, you hit. We're playing in real time, interacting. Or we can do a quest game where we're both playing with a common goal like Ninja Turtles or The Simpsons. And so from this side, if you press and hold the B button, the screen is going to orient itself from this horizontal side over here to the vertical side. And then again, when you enter the game, the full screen will fill up. Uh, let's see. So for this guy, I should point out, this is called the Ultimate Cocktail. It has three track balls. These are called Suzo Hap. Suzo Hap, that's gold standard, top of the line track balls. Those are the original track balls. Uh, the original manufacturer that made track balls for centipede and millipede. This one has a 26 inch led monitor. And this one is called the jumbo ultimate. It has a 32 inch led monitor. Now bear in mind, monitors are measured diagonally. So the difference between a 26 and a 32 is only about three inches in every dimension. So all of these machines are designed to fit through a standard household door. Um, so that one is 29 and a half inches wide. And that one is 29 and uh, five eighths. So it's two sixteenths of an inch wider, just, you know, tiny little bit, but, um, oh, and then on these guys, this lid actually opens up on a hinge. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and then I'll restart it with the lids up and just kind of show you the inside. And, uh, that'll be the end of the video. All right. And again, as I mentioned in the beginning, this video is just kind of a very brief introduction. There's going to be a lot more thorough information about the materials the cabinets are made from, the components that I use, um, the assembly process. So you can check that all out in the marketing video that'll be in the product description. Again, just click the picture of the cabinet. It'll take you into the product details page. That's where you would actually buy it if you wanted to add it to the shopping cart. You'll see that when you try to put it in the cart, it's going to ask you a bunch of questions. Do you want this or that, this or that? Uh, and that video will discuss what those options are, uh, and then it'll reference you to pictures that kind of show them. But, all right, so here's the inside. This guy is currently running the 60 game JAMA board. That's what it looks like. Here's your amplifier, your two speakers. This is the 22 inch. This guy is running the 412 game board. This is the deluxe. Again, that is the 412 game board. And we'll come over here to the ultimate. That's your amplifier. This little guy here is called a trackball adapter. Basically, each trackball has its own plug-in. I run the wires through, I plug in all three trackballs to this adapter, and then there's one USB cable that comes out and it lets you run all three trackballs simultaneously through one board. And then this guy's gonna look very similar. It's just bigger. If you're curious, the 32 inch is same width, same height, it's seven inches longer. Uh, and that length was to uh, accommodate the bigger monitor. And of course, this one is shown with an optional upgrade. So black T molding is what's included. You can actually add different colors. I've got a pink one here that I'm working on for someone. Um, but I've got all the primary colors. And again, that is covered more in the product description. If you're curious, this is what the game boards look like. There's lots of different boards that are compatible with these cabinets. It's a programming language called JAMA. But um, the company that makes by far the best boards is a company called Pandora. And I cover that at length in a lot of my videos. Um, but these are some other cool ones. This one has a ton of uh, like Xbox and um, uh, Nintendo 64 games. Here's another board that I like. But uh, these do not replace Pandora. Pandora is, uh, is the best. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. Classic cocktail, classic cocktail with 22 inch monitor, deluxe classic, ultimate, jumbo ultimate.